All right, I got quite the shit show going on here. To get the alternator off, there's obviously an air duct that's on top of here. You got to remove that. That's got some push tabs. You got to remove the fan and the fan shroud. There's some electrical connections on the side because we got to get the fan out to get access to the alternator bolts down below. Hey everybody, it's Jerry from Bullshit Corner. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove the alternator from a BMW E46 sedan. What had happened is, holy fuck iPhone, shut the fuck up. What had happened is that I'm trying to replace the power steering hose, the pressure hose, and the rack and pinion steering. And however, between the alternator and the frame, there's not enough room to get my hand in there. So the only way I think I'm going to possibly be able to get the hose back on is to remove the alternator. So I don't have to replace it, I just need to remove it. So I thought, what the hell, I'm going to do a video fucking doing it. And if my iPhone doesn't shut up, I'm going to fucking smash it. So let's get to work. In order to get the fan off, you're going to need two tools. This is a fan clutch remover tool. I've actually bored it out a little bit to adjust it for other uses, but it goes down there where the bolts are on the fan clutch and then I use this wrench, it's supposed to be a 32 mil, this says an inch and an eighth but I've actually ground it out as you can see where it's rusting and it's reverse thread so it means to loosen the fan you gotta hit it to the driver's side technically that would be tightening it but since it's reverse thread it's the opposite so once you do that you spin the fan off uh, and do the shit for the shroud and pull it out the next step at the back of the alternator, you want to remove the wiring harness that goes to the back and there's like a 17 mil or 18 mil bolt on the back and that's where your battery cable is connected. So at this point, you want to make sure your battery is disconnected. My battery is dead, so I don't have to worry, but uh, for you, most likely your battery is not going to be dead, so you're going to have to uh, be careful when you remove it. Alright, the next step is to... Uh put a tensioner or loosen a tensioner and pull a belt off and the tensioner is actually right there so I'm going to get a socket that will fit on there can't really see it and we'll take slip the belt off so we can get the alternator off alright once you get the belt off your next step is to remove the bolt to that offset pulley right here because you got to pull that pulley off and that holds one of the bolts that holds the alternator in place so when you take the idler pulley out, you want to pay attention. There's that little tit on there that you can see. And that little tit, I don't know if you can see, right in that bracket. You see the little hole there? That's where that tit goes. So that has to be lined up before you put it in. Alright, so the last alternator bolt you need to take out is actually right down there. Right underneath where the tensioner pulley is. And uh, kind of hard to see. But hopefully you can get to just whereabouts it is in the picture. Or film, I should say. Cigar and a beer. So the alternator does come off. Um, had to fight with it with a little bit to pry it out. This end right here, the bottom piece seemed to stick in. And that's basically how it goes. Two bolts. There's your connections and shit at the back. This is for uh, your little vent for the cooling or to blow heat, whatever the fuck it is. And that's pretty much... Getting the alternator out was a lot easier, so I got all the access now to get that fucking... I can't even see it, so you guys understand. To get the power steering hose back in. I uh, took it out and couldn't get my fat hand in there, so... I'm hoping now with all the space it'll make it a whole lot easier, so wish me luck. Holy fuck, look at this mess. Gotta clean this shit up, beer cans, fucking propane. Cigars, more beer, my sea dew engine I still gotta go over. Never ending projects. Alright, so here we are here, the alternator's back in place. We got the wiring back on, that little stupid vent tubes put back in place. Power steering went in like a snatch. I uh, may have discovered that my vacuum leak might have been from my oil dipstick tube which was not attached properly and came off really easy so let's hope so now we're going to put the uh, fan shroud and the fan back in now and that's kind of a bitch of a job as well but we'll get that done alright fan shrouds back in place electrical connections are back in place the only thing left to do now is uh, hook up the air box and uh, fire it up and see if I still have that code drag the cigar 
have a pull of my beer. And that was the video. And if you want to change out your alternator, I didn't have to change it out. I only took it out to replace, or should I say, make it easier to put the power steering hose back in. Uh, without it, I fucked around with it, like I said, for two hours. I took the alternator out, was able to get it in. First shot done, boom, put it all back together. Doing all that work, same time it took me trying to fight with it, trying to get the bolt in yesterday. Anyways, going off topic, this is about the alternator. Um, only thing left to do, there's nothing left to do besides drink beer. So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. If you want to smoke cigars and drink beer, subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching.